that's Ross. It's a bit of a windy day out, so I apologize for the wind. Um, but, you know, as you can see, there's a lot of snow on the ground. We had a pretty nasty storm that came in and really uh, tons of wind, pretty good amount of snow, and things uh, are looking like winter is coming. And one of the things I want you guys to realize, when the snow falls, there's a lot you can be learning. Um, because now that the snow's melting a day later, you can see where the snow is not anymore. It's, it's melted. If you go over here towards the grass, it's a lot. There's still about an inch or two of snow. But in the areas where there's no snow, those are the places that we should be growing our fig trees. Um, just look at the patio as an example. The patio is almost completely free of snow. And the rest of it, on the outside perimeter, still has lots of snow. It's the same thing that goes for the majority of my yard. But again, when we get to this section over here that I've chosen the best microclimate that I have, there's no snow back there. So this is a great lesson here in a colder climate, where to place your fig trees. And that is the video. It's really that simple. Um, figs need a lot of heat, guys. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Hope you enjoyed this one. Take care.